Talk to me, folks. Good morning. Hey, welcome back to shop. I got a little project here I'm gonna work with you on. I've got a Comet RW5535 pump. I'm gonna mate it with a Comet gearbox. Recently started using this gearbox and I like it a lot. I'm gonna show you how I put one together. Come on around here and take a look. All right. First thing we're gonna do, get a few tools here. We're gonna get our pump turned up on its end. Go ahead and get our goodie bag up out of our gearbox. First thing you're gonna, I'm gonna pull out is gonna be these O-rings. Get them laid out. And go through these bags of goodies and we'll get them installed. First thing I'm gonna do is get my O-rings out, get them opened up and laid out. And then you're gonna have uh, four other bags of hardware. And we'll get to those in a second. Okay, get these O-rings out. We got one in here that's kind of twisted up and I want it to go on and lay down flat. All right, you've got some instructions in here. You take your gearbox out of the box, it's gonna come like this. It's just got two bolts on it, the two halves together. Go ahead and get those out so you can uh, see what you got to work with. Hang on to these two bolts, you're gonna need them. And then separate it. Got a out, two halves there, and a gear. With your pump turned up on its side, you got four bolts holding this side cover on for your drive. Let's go ahead and get those off. Let's get the right size socket. And those you will not reuse, you can discard. You got that, you got three O-rings in there. One of them is gonna be this one right here. And it is gonna go right on top of this. You can ride it in there. And a lot of times I'll put just a little dab of grease in here to hold it but we're just gonna turn this one over i believe it's gonna lay in there just fine set it right down on top line up your four holes and now let's find our hardware you're gonna find a bag in this kit it's gonna have eight screws four of them's longer than others depending on what pump you're building will dictate which bolts you use on this particular pump i'm gonna be using the short ones We'll separate the long ones, and then you're going to have four ceiling washers. See that? And that, my friend, you're going to put over the top of each one of them screws. Just push it down on there. Let me get the rest of them put together. I got my four bolts with ceiling washers on there. I'm gonna go ahead and preload them with a little Loctite. That'll be good when I'm ready for them. Just go ahead and get them all started. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run them down what I call soft. Run them down till you feel them touch. Make sure that O-ring feels like it's sitting flush in there. And I'm just gonna run them down finger tight till I feel them stop. I want these pulled down square. I want equal amount of tension on each one of these. Alternating, of course, across each time I 
tighten one up. When I fill it bottom out, that's all I'm going to give it. But then I'm going to put the ugga dugga on it and send it home. All right, I'm happy with that. Get them all snugged down. Then we're going to work with this large O-ring. If you look, there's a groove in here. If you have trouble with the memory of this O-ring, a lot of times I can put just a small dab of wheel bearing grease down in, in the slot, and that'll keep it from wanting to come back out. But I haven't had a whole lot of trouble with this O-ring. Usually once I lay it down in there, it'll conform to it at least well enough to feel as though I'm getting the cover on the other half without pinching it. We'll let him lay there for a moment. And remember them two screws that we laid to the side? We're going to bring them back. In that bag of cover bolts, you got a bolt and a washer. Go ahead and mate them together. Get them ready for a little Loctite. I'm going to go ahead and preload these with a little Loctite themselves while I put the gear together. All right, we got those marinating. We're going to grab our other little tool kit. It's got the oil cap in it, the oil plug. On this particular pump, I'm going to use the long screw. You're going to have a long screw, a lock washer, and then this, this washer, spacer, whatever you want to call it. We'll take our gear, go ahead and get our set screw. I believe that's a four millimeter Allen. I'm gonna go ahead and get my four, my set screw set on that four millimeter Allen. Give it a little dab of Loctite. And get it started inside that uh, gear. Don't run it very far, we want to leave a space. And then you got a keyway, and a keyway slot on your gear. Just line those up and send, let it slide on down on there. That's the way we like it. I'm not going to tighten this yet, because I want to run the, uh, the washer and bolt down in here. So we'll put us a drop of Loctite here. Run him down in there. And don't get frustrated with these sizes, but I believe five millimeters is what's going to take to tighten that up. Yeah, five millimeter. Just a little love on it now. It's just a little, little bit of tightening up there will get you a long way. Once you've done that, then you can set the tension on that lock screw. Now we're ready to put our cover on. We're going to take our other half of our gearbox housing. And I always like to take the where the shaft for the engine is going to go and go ahead and rotate it, rotate it top dead center. Makes it a whole lot easier to assemble. And I'm going to show you, it's always going to be off a little bit, but at least get it close. And right down on top of there. Now let's get us a couple bolts to hold it in place. We're just going to grab a few. Now, I'm, so, I'm just going to run around here and run the rest of these bolts in. A two, a nine in total. Run them around and torque them down equally, alternating as you go.
All right. Now that we've gone around and tightened these equally, we've got one more oil ring that was in that pack, the small one. Now, before you scratch your head a lot, try and figure out what the devil that goes to, I'll just show you. That's your seal for your oil plug. We'll go ahead and get him popped up on that oil plug. I don't soak this down, but I do give it a dot. Run him in and tighten him up. All right. Now, as far as the gearbox assembly is concerned, we're done. Your last step is after you've installed this pump, you're gonna fill it up with oil. 80W90 gear oil is what I'm using. And try and go about halfway to the sight glass, but I have found that this sight glass is so small, by the time I see it appear in the bottom, it'll run doggone nearly to the top. And that's okay, just leave a little head space in there. Uh, there was one more thing, there'll be one more little bag of hardware. That's your mounting bolts. Good luck. <laughs> I fixed that. I'm going to go do something else.